Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I have for you guys the K+, Plus, the K400 Plus from Logitech. It's a wireless keyboard and a touchpad from, of course, the company Logitech. And we're going to unbox this and uh, have a look at some of the features and just have an overall review of uh, this uh, interesting keyboard. With that being said, I just want to ask you guys if you can join the Discord. Uh, links uh, is in the intro of this video and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this as well as uh, more stuff that's going to come out as well as we go along. Thank you so much as well for doing that and uh, let's get into the unboxing. Oh and don't forget to check out the website as well too where I do some write-up and have the videos out as well too. All right, so uh, as you can see, this is a uh, Logitech wireless keyboard that comes with a touchpad and it comes in a really nice box. As we can see, it says 18 months of battery life, which is really great considering, I believe it's gonna be two double uh, A batteries that you use for this system. So, uh, you know, Boxing wise, it looks really, you, you can recognize Logitech's, uh, Logitech stuff from just the color, specific color that they use, especially for the keyboards. And you see the shape of it as well too as we go along. And uh, just a few things, it says built-in touchpad, uh, 10 meters, wow, that's great. It says 10 meters on the, uh, for the distance, uh, responsive. So this is gonna be great for uh, things like uh, your Android box, it also, it's going to be great even for your normal uh, win, uh, Windows desktops or laptops, etc. And uh, it's compatible with Windows, Chrome OS, and Android. And so we will get into the unboxing now. So what's interesting is that uh, when we open up this box, if we open it up this way, which is normally how you open it up, you get it upright, but you know, sometimes some people open it up this way and obviously it's going to be wrong side if you do that, right? So uh, you got to open it up this way. And uh, what's in the box is the keyboard that comes with the touch screen. Of course, it's in plastic bag and we get two manuals here as well. And basically they just talk about the battery, not to uh, use this thing in like water or any uh, wet environments. And there's this uh, very simple diagram that shows you how to connect it. So it's kind of showing you you can connect to both. Uh, you can connect it to like uh, what seems to be a tablet or a TV. Uh, so anything with Android smart TVs, that kind of thing, that's going to be totally fine. And you get, if, you re if you look really closely, this is where they have the dongle. So when you take the dongle out, you see it, it has Logi written on it, but there's no real color or anything like that on the dongle this is really uh, i guess that's going to be the usb sign i don't know what sign that is but yeah you get the dongle with this orange looking color which is interesting and there's nothing else in the box so we can put that aside and uh let's get to the keyboard and have a look at this keyboard okay so i can tell you offhand that this keyboard is not a full full size keyboard but it's it's still really big for the size it's going to be useful because you know there's uh, those really smaller uh, keyboards that are like so small uh, and they um, normally Chinese made as well too and they come with the touchpad at the top well this is bigger than that so if you need something where you're gonna be doing like programming etc this is like pretty much nearly full-size keys uh, so it's not a full-size keyboard and uh, I can't really show you guys, and I, I probably could actually. Let me see if I could get my, this is gonna be a little bit dirty, but I'm sorry. But this is uh, one of my keyboards here, full-size keyboards. So it's like about, it's like about three quarter the size of a full-size keyboard. And sorry for this keyboard. It's, it's a lighted keyboard and I have to keep it for the time being. Uh, but yeah, so it's about three quarters the size and that's gonna be fine. Uh, because it doesn't have like uh, and as you can see this one it, the key the, the numbers are on the top and you don't really need it on the side like for a full-size keyboard um, but Logitech also makes and I have this as well is a full-size keyboard and mouse wireless mouse 
and that can suffice as well if you need it but this one I really wanted for media this is for media purposes as in for smart TVs or Android boxes etc this is gonna come in handy because it's not too large you know it's not too large it's not gonna take up too much space and so it's fine let's get into the key. let's actually take a look at the keys so the keys feel they feel firm and they're fairly quiet they're not uh, man you know those uh, manuals loud sounding keyboards which is great because you don't want to disturb people too much but it does give some noise so if you're going to be using it for like programming etc and you have people around it could get annoying after a while you know if it's in your bedroom for some reason you're going to be doing this you're going to still hear some sound the lenovo laptop that i recently reviewed oh man that keyboard was like super quiet and it's really lovely to program but it's back to this keyboard here now what i do see here as well is this really strange colored button which I have no clue about there's actually a mouse sign on it so I'm not entirely sure what that is uh, but I can tell you that it does have for example a fully function function key and it also has a Windows key as well here so you can do much of the Windows stuff if you're going to use this for Windows uh, uh, you know control but it also has like the back button which I recognize that looks Android and maybe I should show you that up close so you can see there's the back button there and it seems that you it's only when you press the FN key plus the F1 then the F1 is activated so it's for, for the FN is only for the functions the F1 to, to 12 functions but other than that you just press it like normal the back button there's a home button there seems to be some sort of like a background window button you know the one for Android as well where you can get to see the task list I think that might be it and so there's a few functions uh, there's a few useful functions that will be useful for Android as well which is really awesome as well and uh, what I really love especially with media keyboards is that you can control the audio because that's really super important when you're like watching movies and so this comes with an actual mute button which is awesome and uh, you can load down the volume and raise the volume up and if that wasn't great enough of course you have the touchpad now I'm left-handed and so unfortunately there's no touchpad that I can find keyboard that I can find with a left-handed uh, uh, touchpad but I'll you know we'll get used to it 90% of people are going to be using this anyway so the texture is really smooth which I love I don't like textured touchpads so this is great and uh, they also you know it, they also added the two buttons that you you use the click button and the menu button and I think that's great because uh, the new touchpads that you get on laptops sometimes they don't come with these physical buttons you actually have to press it on the touchpad which I don't trust completely so it's really nice because I'm sure you can actually tap with it and double click but you can also use these buttons so that you save have damaging the touchpad itself and so I think that's a really good design. Now I, I, I believe someone com was complaining about the fact that the touchpad takes up only part of this area and I think I have a reason why that is like actually like that and uh, the reason is because when you're typing with one hand or two hands right when you're controlling the mouse and you're typing you wouldn't want this touchpad to be too low or else your hand is gonna be one of your hands is going to be less extended than the other and that's going to cause fatigue at some point in time so this is a really good design that they kept it and i see why they left this space it looks wasteful but that space is needed when you need to keep your hands about the same distance as when you're typing so it does make sense um and i think that's really great and that's why i love uh, logitech particularly even though the prices are a little bit high um, do well designed stuff for the consumer and I've never had a Logitech that has stopped working on me uh, you know straight out of the out of the, the you know out of the box or out of years of use in fact the only time it stops working is when for example those mouse they the keys this because I click so much it eventually goes but uh, other than that it, it, it works until and uh, what I'm going to do is just show you guys the side very quickly so the side as it we saw in the box is that really it's not a f as you can see there's a different shape so only the, the, the back only the back if you look at it, it, it it's thick and I guess that's to hold the batteries uh, in but it's it's good because it has the grips on it as well and maybe 
your knees you can put this here when you put this on your lap it's going to grip on as well with these with this edge so that's going to be uh useful as well too um and uh we also see there's this little tag that's really literally uh in the battery area so if we open this up you're going to find the batteries in here and you pretty much just pull this tag out and uh, once you pull the tag out it's pretty much on and what's really cool too about these is there the logitech also caters for you not losing this the dongle part so they normally make a little area for you to put the dongle in and this but this this little area here is for that so if you look at this part which is the the lid the battery area you can actually place this usb dongle in there and secure it so when you're moving around you don't have to worry about losing the dongle and what's even really more great is uh, if that wasn't cool enough is that you also get a power switch so right now since I pulled it on it's on since I pulled out the, uh, the tape from the battery it should be on now because you see the green and it's not an LED so it doesn't use up any battery which would make no sense if it was LED because it would be using the battery up um, it's just simply some they use color so that's that's a smart way of saving the battery as well and that's why you can get like you know the 18 months out of it and I'm sure there's some kind of timing mechanism so that if you don't press on the keyboard for a while it's gonna switch off everything but uh, yeah it's really cool so you know it's off when it's red and green when it's on awesome and uh, I think we've reached I believe the end of this uh, unboxing and, and initial review now if there's one thing that's a little tough to remember is of course wh whether you press the caps lock but I realize that on Windows 10 now when you press the caps lock it actually tells you when you press it and it's on so I don't think that's gonna be such an issue um, the back button the enter button is a little bit small but you know considering that it's so neat and it fits into the design uh, and if you use laptops well then you should really have a problem this is really awesome the weight as well I have to tell you it's uh, it's actually not as light as you think it isn't gonna be really heavy like it's gonna tire you out if you have it on your lap but it has some weight to it which is great and I think that's because of course the batteries it uses the two AA batteries in there um, but overall I think it's really nice and you can control you know like rewind and fast forward and pause and all these different things are here so pretty much everything is here for a meteor keyboard a media keyboard of course it's not really designed for gaming but I'm, I'm guessing you can do basic stuff with it because uh, you have your full set of keys um, and of course it comes with I think they said let me just remind myself of the distance that this thing has 10 meters of distance and from my experience I only use about a meter or two meters and I have no problem with that so I'd expect if they say 10 meters you're gonna be totally fine in your living room using this on your smart TV or on your laptop or something large like that so with that being said guys of course again I just want to remind you very quickly to make sure to, to join the discord so that we can keep in touch and you can ask questions and we can you know can create a great community and uh, don't forget to check out the website. I'm also on Instagram. I haven't started taking out pictures of tech as well on Instagram, but I will soon. So make sure to join there as well so that uh, you can directly message me from there as well too and we can keep in touch. And uh, stay tuned, of course, to another episode of RTHD and make sure to like and subscribe for more tech like this, more reviews like this because um, there's gonna be more as we go along hopefully and I uh, just want to thank you guys for your support at this point in time and you know be safe out there and take care of your of yourselves until the next episode and I'll see you guys again soon thanks so much for viewing see you later bye bye